Good morning, scholars and staff. Welcome to MD News. I am your host, Ms. Moreno. Bienvenidos a todos de la comunidad de Montevera. Yo soy la señora Moreno. Uh, teachers, a friendly reminder that Jessica needs your Scholar of the Month by the end of the day today. Um, the next Scholar of the Month ceremony will be held December 15th. More information will be coming from your child's teacher. Now moving on to Haiti. Thank you, Ms. Moreno. Scholars, have you been enjoying the Spirit Days? I can't wait till next week. Here is the schedule for next week. December 7th, rock your holiday shirt with your holiday socks. December 8th, wear white. December 9th, wear your favorite plain flannel shirt. December 10th, wear your ugly festive sweaters. December 11th, wear red and white or look like or dress like a candy cane. I can't wait to see you rock your spirit gear. Now moving on to Samantha with the Montebello Teacher of the Year. Gracias, Heidi. La maestra bilingüe Pam Clark abandonó su jubilación momentáneamente para ser honrada como maestra del ciclo 2019 a 2020 de la Escuela Montebella. La maestra Clark trabajó por 24 años, 11 de ellos en, en salones bilingües. Entre sus mejores cualidades se es, encuentran la amabilidad, empatía y valores. A pesar de que se le extraña mucho, nos promete regresar como maestra sustituta pronto. Miss Clark fue maestra de primer grado y yo me acuerdo que ella era una maestra buena y amable. Ahora con él. Thank you, Samantha. Health care workers at first and first responders are getting a special treat from Starbucks. Starbucks is giving free co cups of coffee for a whole month to health care workers and first responders who have been working during COVID-19. This is also for people who, who work at the hospital. They have been risking their lives to help others during this pandemic. How I feel about this is that these people who risked their lives to help others is amazing because I would have not probably done that. You are brave and courageous and deserve much more. Now moving on to Grecia. I am proud to announce that two Alisa teachers have been recognized by Monterey Bay SUE. Here's a message from Ms. Carrie is explaining the two recognized. Hello, my name is Laura Carey. I am a teacher at Montebello, but I also serve as a Monterey Bay Q board member. And one of the things that we do is we get to honor amazing teachers and educators from around the Monterey Bay region. The Monterey Bay region includes Santa Cruz, San Benito, and Monterey County. So we have the honor in Alice of having two amazing educators who have been chosen for, for awards. And those educators are Ms. Espinoza and Mr. Cogswell. And they were chosen because they were nominated by their peers. Someone took the time to fill out a form and say, Mr. Cogswell will be an amazing technological innovator. And Ms. Espinoza is an amazing emerging teacher and they gave reasons, they justified their thinking, they gave evidence, and they cited examples, just like we would in your writing. And so the board met, we reviewed all the candidates, and then we made our decision, and, and now we get to honor those special people, and those special people's names have been submitted to Q, uh, the larger organization, to um, possibly continue on in their awards. So that is how we choose um, educators to win awards at Monterey Bay Q. Thank you, Ms. Carey. Our first is Mr. Cogswell. He was recognized for being the Technology Indicator of the Year. Welcome, Mr. Cogswell. How do you feel when you found out you received this special recognition? Well, I, I gotta say thank you, Gracie. I, I felt very honored. It was especially honored when I found out who had had nominated me, um, which had been one of uh, a service worker that had been working in my classroom. And so she, she was very sweet to kind of think about me for that. And um, it always just very, it feels very nice when somebody you work with um, takes that time to want to help recognize you for what you've been doing. 
just like I uh, love to take some time to recognize you guys because you're here after school hours um, doing this. And of course, uh, your teacher, Miss Moreno, as well. And so, you know, it, it doesn't always mean that we have to have an award to get recognized. And so uh, just thank you guys for what you do. What are your values? Oh, that's a big question. I just I just love, you know, I, I, I think that learning should be fun. And um, I think that we need to, we can use technology sometimes hopefully to, to, to help make it fun in different ways, right? We don't always need technology to have fun when we're learning, but there's just so many cool things you can do um, when it comes to technology. I mean, look, I'm sitting in my house, but I'm surrounded by snow, right? And that would never be possible if I didn't have sometimes things like technology. And so um, it's just some fun things that we can do with it to maybe, uh, especially right now, make our, make our learning more fun because we pretty much have to use technology, right? To, to do our learning. We, we, we can't, we can't, we can't, there's no way around it. So what can we do to hopefully um, help, help not only our students, but also I've been very lucky to help some other teachers as well um, with their journey in technology. Thank you, Mr. Cogswell, because when I was new to Montevela, you came in and uh, boys and girls, believe it or not, I am shy. I do not like to be in front of cameras. <laughs> and Mr. Cogswell, we said, you need to do it. You need to record yourself. And that's it. And you need to give yourself credit, right? Mr. It's because of Mr. Cogswell that a lot of things, like he, he's the one that motivated me from the beginning. So thank you. And your doceri lessons are the math lessons, right? It, it put me to where I'm at right now with the math lessons that I create during remote teaching. So thank you, Mr. Cogswell, because you made a difference in Montevela, now at Barden, um, in, you know, the Alisal district not just in Salinas. I mean, you're known worldwide now and you're always humble and accept invitations like this. So thank you so much for joining us. What drives you to do what you do as a teacher? It's people like you that are sitting across from me, Gracie, as these students that I see and I go and I go to my classroom and I get to see um, my students every day and their smiling faces. But also again, like I mentioned earlier, like your teacher, Miss Moreno, because I also have an opportunity to work with teachers and just the fact that, you know, helping people, if I can help people, whether that's a student, whether that's an adult, I think that always can, you know, makes me feel uh, good when I can offer help to somebody. Thank you for joining us today. Well, this has been fantastic. And I know you guys know you got a very special teacher and so I'm sure you're thankful for what she does for you. So keep up the hard work and, and don't give up, right? These are hard times. And so you guys are awesome. I'm very proud of you. Here's an exclusive interview with Ms. Espinosa. Our special guest from the community is Ms. Espinosa. Welcome, Ms. Espinosa. Thank you for having me, Ms. Moreno. So I want to congratulate you. Um, if you did not know, Ms. Espinosa was uh, chosen by MBQ as the Emerging Teacher of the Year. Uh, Ms. Espinosa, how did that make you feel when you found out um, this great news? Um, it made me feel a little bit, um, un uncomfortable. Um, I, I, f I don't do good with praising, I guess. I just, I always feel like there's always someone that's much, much better than I am or more deserving. So it, it for me, it, it's a little bit of, um, a struggle to accept things. Um, but, uh, <laughs> after I sent an email trying to see if they would actually um, honor a different teacher within our own school. Um, some of the members of the MBQ reached out to me telling me that I, I couldn't, um, I guess that I couldn't give it away or I couldn't take it back. Um, and um, then another member reached out to me and um, they said that I was actually nominated and I actually found out who that person was yesterday. Um, and they told me why. So then I, you know, I acknowledged it and I took it in. Um, and I guess it's a, it's, it's humbling. It's, it's something that doesn't always come to, uh, I guess, easy for a lot of people. For me, it's always been that I, I, I always feel like there's always someone that is doing more, that's trying harder than I am. So I always feel like there's always someone else within the community that deserves it more. Thank you for being so humble. And it shows the type of person that you are. I wanted to ask you, what are your, what are your values? So my, I guess my values 
that go back to my upbringing, uh, to my dad, to my brother, um, I, I want to say they were really fundamental pillars in my upbringing. And that was um, perseverance, um, always with striving um, to improve, not necessarily being number one, always, because I feel like in today's society, that's what uh, a lot of people aim to do. Um, when I was growing up, it was always try, you know, try your best. And your best is always going to be um, valued. And it's always going to be worthwhile. So that's kind of the value that I always tend to stick to, to work as hard as I can, just keep persevering. Um, we're always going to see struggles in life. But we just need to, you know, keep going and um, being there for other people. I, I always felt that my dad and my brother always instilled that on me to try your best, try your hardest. Um, sometimes you're going to fail and you're going to fall in your face. But what matters is that you just keep getting up every single time and that you always um are compassionate towards others and you have empathy. So sometimes you might be the one flat on your face in the floor falling, you know, learning when you're learning to ride a bike, you fall, but every single time you need to get up. And sometimes you might be the one helping someone. So make sure that you lend a hand when you're the one that's okay. And the other person might be the one that needs your support. Thank you so much, Ms. Espinosa. And then finally, we all want to know, anybody that has worked with you, um, there's no one that we know that is as hardworking as you. Um, you have touched everyone's lives. Like, what drives you? What drives me? Um, I guess my my love for the community. Um, that's, always, that's always what continues to drive me, that I want uh, better, not just for my own children, but for the children that, you know, that are next to my kids, that live within the same community, that are going to the same classes, that are going to the same parks, um, that's what drives me, that I want better for everyone. I don't want, I don't necessarily just want better for the um, couple kids that are in my classroom. And um, that's what drives me every single day, especially here in the east side of Selena where things tend to be a, a little bit dark sometimes. Um, I always aim for the bigger picture. Thank you, Ms. Espinosa. Now moving on with Ms. Alvarez with the principal's message. Ms. So Alvarez is here with the... <laughs> the MB staff. We're okay. going to miss you. Thank and we you. want you to know how much we love you and appreciated everything that you've done for the scholars here over the years. So okay. with that, um, the staff wanted to give you this. Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> thank you, guys. Um, so, Mrs. Espinosa, I know that uh, Mrs. Moren Ms. Moreno already talked to you and congratulated you on your certificate from Q. And what an honor! Um, how do you feel about that? Uh, I feel unworthy among such awesome educators here at MB. Yeah. Well, congratulations on that, and congratulations on your new position. Um, I know that um, it wasn't an easy decision, but um, in life, you know, making those tough decisions to grow in your professional life. I know that you're going to do great things at Barden, and I know that you're still part of MB, and we have your heart. And um, once a scholar, always a scholar. Yes, correct. So um, with that, I thought it would be fun for um, you to try to um, figure out my riddle. So are you ready? Okay. So my first riddle is, what does Mrs. Claus say to Santa when there are clouds in the sky? I'll read it again. Hmm. 
What does Mrs. Claus say to Santa when there are clouds in the sky? Don't look up. It looks like reindeer. <laughs> 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 um, are you ready for the next one? <laughs> what do you call an elf who sings? What do you call an elf who sings? I have no idea. Miss Moreno? <laughs> A rapper. <laughs> 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 anyway, oh <my> well, um, from the MB staff, we are, we're honored to have worked with you and um, keep in touch. And um, as we always say here at Montebella, go, go, Bella. From all of us here at MB News, have a wonderful day. And like we say every single day, go, go, go. Scholars. Scholars.